homeschooling mom and business owner at As We Walk Along the Road. Today I want to talk about homeschool math. Now, I know in our homeschool, math has been one of the most difficult subjects for me to handle. And that's because it's a subject that I don't feel like I'm very good at. And so it's something that I always struggle to find the right curriculum, the right resource, so that my kids could learn math, even though it wasn't an area I felt I was very comfortable in. And one of my favorite math programs that we have used throughout the years is CTC Math. CTC Math has been great when my kids were younger, as they got into high school. It's really simple to use. It's an online math curriculum and they have math curriculum all the way from kindergarten through the high school math levels. So today I want to take you on a little tour of CTC Math to show you how simple it is to use and show you some of the features that make it one of my favorite math programs that we've ever used in our homeschool. Let's start by taking a look at the student version of your CTC math login. So this is what your student will see when they access the program. Now one thing that you can see right away is over to the side your student can choose lessons all the way from kindergarten through the middle school maths, through the high school math classes, and your student has access to all of this with your subscription. So you're not just paying for one grade level of math. Your student is going to be able to go back to different topics in other grade levels if they need to. If they complete a grade level, they can move ahead and keep working for the year. That was one of the things that I always particularly liked about using CTC Math because we don't always operate on the traditional grade levels of regular school. And so my kids were often between grade levels in a given school year. Now, I'm going to show you what a lesson looks like. So we'll start with one of the fourth grade lessons. And you can see right away, my student has already completed these lessons. And you can see her level of mastery in the lessons that she's completed. Your student will be able to see this so that they know exactly what the next lesson is that they need to go to. If you're not sure where your student should start in the CTC math curriculum, a good place to start is to take one of the diagnostic tests in a topic. So they can go to a grade level and choose a topic and then you can have them take the diagnostic test to see whether they already know that topic or they need to start in that section. I also had my students go back and take the comprehensive diagnostic test as kind of a unit test after they completed all of the lessons in the topic but you can choose either the short, the standard, or the comprehensive just to give you a look at what your student knows in this topic. Now when your student completes a lesson, the lesson's going to start with a video math lesson from math teacher Pat Murray. And he teaches this video lesson with voice and writing on the whiteboard. He teaches the concept and gives examples of the topic that he's teaching. Now this lesson we'll do some work on numbers up to 999. Now this first one here we're going to use some blocks. We'll call this one a short which is the number one. This one here we'll call a long which has 10 blocks. After the lesson is complete your student will go into some interactive questions. As they go through the questions, they'll be able to know right away if they got the question correct. And this little mastery complete will show them when they have completed enough correctly that they've reached the mastery level that you set as a parent. 
because one of the really cool things about CTC Math is that you can set a mastery level that your student needs to complete in order to move on. So I'm going to type in the answer here and submit it so that you can see what the program does. And I didn't type it incorrectly. You can see right away that it gives us the correct answer. This was something that I always really liked because I know how frustrating it is if the student gets the answer wrong and brings it to me and says, why did I miss this? And I can't figure out why they missed it either or I don't know what the correct answer should be. So in elementary math, that was pretty simple. I could figure it out. But as they got older and did high school math classes, it was really nice that the program would show them the answer. Now, when your student watches the video lesson, there's also a lesson summary that you can download for them. So if they do better following along with a printed version of the lesson, you can print that off and they'll be able to see everything that was presented on the screen. They'll be able to see it presented in a, in a PDF printable form here. Um, as you get up into the high school levels, students can also download a worksheet where they complete the questions for the lesson and then just enter the answers in in the questions section. So that was helpful as my students got up into the higher level math classes. Now I'm going to show you the parent area in CTC Math. And this is another reason that I particularly liked using CTC Math for my students. The parent area is very complete here and you can see exactly what is going on with your kids. You can look at their individual profiles. You can see overall activity. So it's been a while since my kids were finishing up with some of the high school level maths. And in the this week section, you can see what I was just looking at signed in as my daughter. But then you can also see when they were actually working on the math lessons I could go in and see each day what they had worked on, how much they had worked on. I could see when they had signed in and signed out. And this was a great way for me to keep tabs on what they were doing without having to physically see them do it every single day as they did their math work. This makes CTC Math really an independent program, especially as your kids get older. This is a curriculum that you're not going to have to stand over them to get them to complete. You're going to be able to see what they're doing and see how much time they've spent, see whether they're mastering their different categories that they're working on or what they need help on. So you can log in and view each individual child too. So I'll take you into Rachel's profile because she is the last one of my students who was doing regular math. And when you log into their account, you can see what they've done for each grade level. So she did not do anything in kindergarten math. We weren't using CTC math yet. But I can go through and choose the classes that I know she did complete with CTC math. And when I click on that class, I can look right away and see what topics she has mastered or what topics she might still need to work on. The levels of mastery are shown in blue, and then the other levels mean that she did not reach the percentage that I had set as mastery. As a parent, you can choose the percentage that your student needs to get correct in order for that to be considered mastery and say that they have passed that section before they move on to the next section. So I can see right away at a glance what categories she mastered right away and which ones she didn't. 
this record keeping makes it super easy when you need to get a grade. And that was particularly important for me as my students started doing high school math because I wanted to be able to look and see what their grade was right away as I gathered up the information for their transcript each semester. And CTC Math, this reporting area, makes it super easy to do that. You can also, as a parent, set tasks for your students. I didn't use the task feature very often. I had my students work by doing a certain amount of time each day, and then they saw how far they got in that amount of time. But you can go through and set specific tasks. So if you want to make sure that your student does a certain number of lessons each day, it's really easy to do that. Now, one thing that your student has access to, and I'll switch to the student view to show you, um, in addition to the curriculum that we looked at, you can look over here, there are some speed skills and math games that are going to help them to practice their addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division as well. So in addition to completing their lessons, I did have my kids at times work on these math games to practice basic math skills. So CTC Math has you covered there as well. If you're looking for a math curriculum that is going to be simple for you to use, is going to allow your kids to work independently, is going to be easy for you to use for record keeping, CTC Math is definitely the way to go. It's very affordable to cover all of the kids in your family and your kids can use it from kindergarten all the way through their high school math programs. I encourage you to take a look at CTC Math today and see how it can be a great asset to your homeschool.